Uh, what up dudes, um, here I am with an update, um, it's been a while, uh, I just really haven't had time to record and uh, sort of been speeding things up, you know, trying to get it done a little quicker than uh, I wanted to, but um, here I am at the shop, um, it's been cold as fuck the last couple days, uh, we've been in negative 20s, uh, wind chills of negative 50. It, it, it's been so brutal. I barely got here with the CRV. The the fluid um, and the clutch pedal got all frozen. The power steering fluid is frozen. My 2015 Audi broke down because it's so cold. Um, right now it's uh, negative seven. Negative seven here in Milwaukee. Um, and this and this is good, you know. It, it was negative 27 this morning, so I'm um, hoping for that 21 and the 40s for the weekend. But uh, I'll show you what I got done here on the RB hatch and get it running today. All right, so um, the SR20 that was here is gone. That's the one I had in my car. I sold that to a guy who bought a um, S13 Club K's, I believe. Those came with the SR20 DE straight from Japan. Uh, he imported it and he wanted a DET. <clears throat> but um, while I had the uh, engine out, you know, it was just a bay here. Um, I sanded everything down, primed it, went to Napa, gave them the color code. Uh, they paint matched it. I sprayed it with my uh, $30 Harbor Freight spray gun. I think it came out wonderful for you know, literally sanding it, priming it, maybe it took me an hour and a half, two hours to do. Um, as you can tell, the color of my car and the bay is two different grays. My car was re-sprayed by the original owner uh, because it was faded, sun fade. So I don't know if these guys did a bad job or these guys didn't match good at Napa, but I haven't had issues at Napa with them matching. Um, on camera this looks a lot more blue than it is. Don't know why. But uh, it's <clears throat> it's a very dark purple color. Um, it's the purple that we used on my semi. And uh, painted that. <clears throat> Got new valve covers because the dickheads before me just RTV'd it. So those were leaking. Um, I'm not done with the wiring here, but this is a wire specialty harness, and so is the, this for the LS coil packs. Um, I cleaned up the wiring a lot compared to how it was in that other car. I'm still working on it. You know, I'm going to tuck everything. I put everything under the manifold except this harness for the injectors, which I want to get to pretty quickly. Um, I painted everything. Back of the bay, the radiator support. Um, I gotta put the headlights back. Um, there's no blow valve on this piping that the guy had in here. So I will get one welded up right here somewhere probably. Um, right here I guess possible too. Um, this is a bed liner that I used to, to paint that. Came out pretty good. It matches the uh, overflow for the coolant. Um, if you haven't noticed in this car it looked like the engine sat further back but that is I found out because they cut the radiator support so that way they were able to tilt the radiator and uh, I might do that as you can see how much clearance I have which is not much and on this car uh, they cut it and I mean the radiator the bottom of it still sits where it is but the front of it can tilt that way I can use my fan shrouds which are really nice that's uh, Mishimoto as well uh, they were great on the SR but I really don't want to cut my support so we will see um, uh, I'll put the fans in the front of the radiator for now just make sure I have them rotating the correct way and if I have some sort of heating issues then I will cut and put my fan shroud on um, as you can tell still stock turbo um, I ordered a 2 dump but uh, mail men have been postponed uh, for two days now hopefully they're not postponed tomorrow um, so I, I did get a 2 dump or 
screamer pipe, and it it's made so it clears that uh, steering rack for the S13s because as you can tell it's it's touching um, in this car it was touching just barely but in my car it's touching a lot more which seems like that shaft on mine and this car is a little different um, sorry about the sniffles I've been feeling like shit um, I took the 5 lug off of the yellow car front and back put it on my car these are 17 by 9's they fit really good in the front and the back so yeah now I got 5 lug I got my Mr. BR autograph steering wheel um, also with doing a R33 cross member um, you are gonna have this issue that I'm having which you know you hit so let's say well if this is in fucking place um, first so it does hit the plastic third hits so I will try to get that figured out um, I might get a short shifter because some of these this piece is actually moved further up and I might not have that issue ECU is in, it's pretty much ready to start up, um, so put some coolant in it and we'll go from there. Alright, I got all this stuff off, um, there's supposed to be a Walbro fuel pump in my car, should be a Walbro 255, but uh, I never actually checked. So let's do that. Rather check now than later, you know, when I'm having fuel starvation issues and I find out the hard way. I might as well, I might as well check right now because the yellow car does have a Walbro 255 in it. And when you have a, even a stock RB25, you want a bigger fuel pump because the R33 Skyline has a bigger fuel pump. Let's see here. I'm gonna pull these two lines off. Try to do it nicely. So far it looks good. Um, I should replace these clamps while I'm there. This is looking like a wall bro. That's their logo right there. GSS 342, 342 yeah. Yeah, that's a wall bro. It. But yeah, that's that's their logo right there. I'm just gonna clean it off and then come back to it.
All right, there it is, guys. Um, it runs. It fucking starts so easily. Um, just you saw, you saw it started right up. That was the first time I tried to start it up um, with doing everything correctly. I had it running once before with just rigging everything to see if it would start. I am so excited. It sounds very good. No smoke. Even though it's open exhaust, I saw no smoke, nothing stupid. So hopefully tomorrow I get the O2 dump. I'll throw that on, then I can throw the exhaust on while the wide band bung on it. And much excitement. Now, uh, speedo doesn't work yet. I don't have the transmission harness hooked up. Um, I'll find some just to extend up here so I don't have that hitting issue anymore. Um, I'll get the wide band resolved, transmission harness. I'll hook up the BR. Woo! So exciting. bolts on that exhaust as well. I sprayed some lubricant, don't think it's fuel. I just want to make sure the fuel lines aren't leaking. Video, comment on the video hit the notification button if you like it if you want to keep watching summer's coming up soon hopefully <laughs> and uh, I started actually using the card thanks for watching